Hello my loves, I'm the Asia Lorraine and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a cute summer no foundation makeup look mainly for my women of color. This one's for you. So I won't keep the intro too long because I really want you guys to get this really cute popping glowy look we will have the products that i use for this video in the description it will be like to know it so if you do shop from there i will get commission if you have not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe okay come join the club if you guys want to see how i did this beautiful look then keep on watching and i will see you guys towards the end of the video Go ahead and do our makeup. This is gonna be a really cute everyday, no foundation makeup look. You wanna make your makeup look very clean and just glowy. I highly recommend that number one, you shave your face. Also, make sure you have a really dedicated, effective skincare routine before you put on makeup because it's, I swear, it's gonna make your makeup look super cute and super glowy to start on my eyebrows that's what i love to do first i have a tutorial on tiktok of how i do up my eyebrows but i'm going to do it off camera because girl it does take some time i don't know if it's going to be a bad day or a good day so i'm about to do my eyebrows and then i'll see you guys and we're going to go in and i'm going to show you guys step by step on how i do this makeup look okay guys so my eyebrows is all Done. that literally didn't take me long at all and i did them super super good and i think because i um like click cleaned up my eyebrows so it was pretty easy for me so that's another tip as well make sure you clean your eyebrows before you actually fill them in so it's easy for you to like fill them in and clean them up as well let's start with some primer I'm using the elf power grip this is a really good primer i feel like it's very affordable and I feel like it really makes my like foundation or concealer really like get on there and like makes it last long. So I know they do have a pink one, but I haven't tried it, y'all. I mean, what what is the pink one exactly? Like <laughs> let's just let's just Let's just keep the blue one, okay? Let's move on with concealer since we are not going to do foundation. I'm going to use the e.l.f. concealer. This is Deep Cinnamon and this was a hydrating one. It's weird because I have oily skin but I love to use a hydrating like product because I don't like when my face is so matte. I hate it. I love that glowy look. So, um, and then we're also going to use this born this way concealer this is one of my favorites this is how it looks and this is in the shade sand y'all i'm really debating if i want to change my shirt because i'm scared that youtube is gonna like flag me because they might think like i'm naked but i'm like not like and my boobs is not even up here that's a crazy thing so i'm going to use the elf concealer just because this is in my shade like kind of like my skin tone just like two times lighter so i'm just going to use this i'm gonna put this underneath my eyes i love a full concealer moment so we're gonna be putting on a lot of concealer because we're not putting foundation so we're gonna put on a little bit more of a concealer um I like to put some right here. So on my forehead, on my eyelids, because my eyelids are pretty dark. So I just wanna make sure that's covered. Also to cover up my dark spot, which is, you know, right there. And then we're also going to take the Born This Way Concealer, which is a lighter concealer. I'm gonna apply this like in this area, like on the side of my nose to be our highlight shade so this is going to be like our focus where because this is like where i love to highlight so i'm going to spray my face uh i'm going to do the make it last um milani i think that's how you say it this is their natural finish setting spray and this is 16 hour wear so yeah this is a really good drugstore um setting spray i don't like to pay all that much for some setting spray because at the end of the day i feel like it does the same thing although i haven't tried the one size 
setting spray which I want to so let me know if you guys want me to try it but yeah so I'm just gonna spit this Whew. there's really nothing in here so if you do not have a mini fan this is your sign to get one <laughs> You can literally get it on Amazon, Sheen, whatever works for you, but this is very a good essential. Not just for makeup, but girl, for when you go outside, yes. Look, this does not match, right? Look, don't come from me. Contour is key. Contour, this is espresso and Fenty Beauty. This is the best contour stick. This is like my foundation shade. My foundation shade. So, which is why it's perfect, you know? It's super perfect. So, we're gonna drag it. This is where I like to contour anyway. So, that's why I did put like um. My concealer right there put some right here and we're gonna just drag it down as well because I do want to get my neck so it could like blend better but we're gonna take our um, foundation brush this is a foundation brush that I use this one's a little bit pricey and I'm just really gonna go to work with this contour and just make sure that it's blended out really well You guys see that? What did I say? What did I say? Trust the process. If you ain't trusting the process, then how you gonna get this? Like, you, girl, I'm this, like, I'm really teaching y'all. We're gonna go back in with the Too Faced, which is our highlight shade. So I'm gonna go back with like the highlight. And this is a really good, this is like one of the best concealers out there. It's not drugstore. It's a little bit pricey, but this is like the best thing like on earth. Like, I should never put that much. This is pretty full coverage. I didn't think this was that full coverage, but like it's pretty full coverage. I'm just going to clean up my contour. That's the only reason why like I'm doing that. Um, I'm just gonna clean it up. Just make sure that everything is snatched. So yeah. I don't like using a brush when I apply on concealer. I mean, to blend my concealer out. It just doesn't do anything for me. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back in with blending it out with my beauty blender. So I feel like it's honestly a waste of time. Just do it with your beauty blender, if I'm being honest. But that's just me, okay? That's just me. Everyone's different, okay? Everyone is different. I added no highlight. This is all skin and makeup okay but yeah so this is how it looks it looks super blended that's what i'm trying to tell y'all like don't don't be judging me yet now it is time for the blush i've been using the huda beauty blush stick this is how it looks this is in the shade rebel red first i was like oh my god this is really cute but like i'm like hmm so we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see how it looks again because i really don't remember I can go in with the beauty blender to like blend it out blend it out upwards not backwards um yeah and i kind of blended in with the contour as well so it just looks even more like natural i know y'all like asia well, girl why can't i set my face well you can set your face right now because we are going to use the huda beauty the best freaking powder on earth i live by this powder this isn't blondie leave any residue on your face which is what i love and that's how it should be especially as a black girl i'm going to use my power puff girl this is the best thing. Get it on Amazon. It's on my Amazon storefront. This is really good. This is a, I don't use beauty blenders when setting my face anymore. I use the Power Puff. When I have a lot, I just put it on the back of my hand. 
and then play it. And what I love about this um, powder as well, like it really blurs your face. Like it's like you're using Facetune. Like, like girl, I don't even need that app. Like I could just be using this powder. You see how it looks? Oh my god, y'all, I love bronzer. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Bronzer and Mocha Mommy for face. I want to use this big brush because, like I said, I'm going in. So, yeah, I just love this. Is like bronzer is key. Fenty Beauty really did that with this bronzer because it just. It speaks for itself okay i'm going to use like a eyeshadow brush and really focus it on the nose it's crazy because i usually before i set my face i usually bronze and then set my face just because if there's any like if there's any like adjustments i have to do before setting my face because i feel like once you set your face you can't go back okay it's already set let it go and this is how the bronzer looks y'all it looks super good. I love it. It's time for blush, 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 blush. Beauty Bakery Bite Size Blush. This is in the shade Kiss My Cheeks, girl. Pink blush on dark skinned women. It's like super pretty. It just looks super cute. And I'm using this really big fan brush. If you don't like too much blush, you could go ahead and use like this kind of blush. So you could really focus it on the points like you want to like, you know, apply it on. You see how like focused it is? But for me, I love to go all out. I like to go down, not really up. So like right here and down. Whisper down, or you could like whisper up like that. But um, yeah, that's how I like to do it because I like to, for it to blend it in with like the bronzer. I do like to put it on my nose, my forehead, my eyelids. Like y'all, I love blush. To set our face, and so I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I love Morphe's setting spray. Oh. Don't try to go overboard. And to use the Revolution Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Actually start with the dark shade. Put it on my eyelid. Don't be scared, y'all. Don't be scared. Just like put it on there. I did. So I just do. Just go in there. I'm going to mix this pink and this like kind of neutral color together. I'm just going to apply it on the side of my lid. I'm trying to see if I should just take this yeah okay y'all change of plants we're going to use this color and that neutral color so this color and this one on the side of our eyelids i'm gonna go in with my jacqueline hill palette and use this kind of beige white color i didn't realize how pink that was and just go in Yes, okay, yeah. I feel like this is better. Dark shade at the bottom. Can you guys see? That dark one at the bottom and darken the end. Honestly, it's all about layering, okay? It's all about layering. Just go in with the random like eyeshadow brush and kind of just put everything together to where it has to be um go back with the nude shade and then um use those two colors these two colors and fill in the bottom I hope you guys can see that it's super cute it's super cute I go on to some lips i love me a good natural semi matte lips <laughs> is get an eyeshadow palette i use jacqueline hills morphe palette just because she has a lot of variety colors you could use so i'm going to use this palette and then i'm just going to take like this red this like brownish and like this darkish color so we're going to mix it together to create like this perfect dark brown reddish look 
But yeah, so this is how I line my lips. My favorite lipstick right now, you guys, is the Fashion Nova lipstick. This is how it looks. This is in the shade Cutie. Um, it is such a beautiful pink. Like, it is black girl friendly. I love it. Well, you have to mix it with something. But it's like a really cute pink. What I like to do is put this in the center. Put it in the center and then take my finger, my pinky to the exact, and just make sure that everything is like blended out. Well, you know, it's a really good lipstick. Like, as you can see, I just put that, I just put a little bit, and look how like good it looks. I don't like it when my lips are like glossy, glossy. I just love that settle matte because i feel like it's not too matte look as far as lashes this is the eyeler um i got it from marshall's it was 3.99 as you can see and i really want to try these out i'm actually scared because i didn't realize how long they are these are freaking long but these are super super cute so i feel like these might be a little bit too dramatic for like a summer to go You know, I'm so happy that I didn't apply on my fake nails. Because this would have been so complicated and I would have arranged. So far it looks cute, but we kind of have to see how it looks with both of these lashes. So I'm about to put on the other one and I'll let you know. Uh, uh, tune in. Tune in. Okay. This is how the lashes look. Um, Do not mind the corners because I feel like I really had to like cut it off a little bit but it was already glued so i didn't want to you know take it off this is definitely one of my favorite no foundation just concealer bronzer and whatever no foundation at all it feels very like lightweight it doesn't feel heavy and once you try this your face is not gonna feel heavy at all it's going to look flawless and just put together products that i've used will be down below um it will be like to know it so if you guys do purchase i will get like commission so if you guys want to help your girl out definitely shop there and yeah that is literally it for the video thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time bye